Hi guys, Benjamin here. I just want to ask one question. When are you going to start? Are you going to start now? Tomorrow? Next week? Next month? Next year? When? It's all well and fine to have an idea. That's great. It's all well and fine to map out something, something that you would like to achieve. Fantastic. That's part of the process. But now we need to ask ourselves, when are we going to start? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the perfect moment? Are you waiting for the universe to align and something to magically appear? Are you waiting for yourself to have a certain amount of experience that you don't have? You need to ask yourself, what is it that's holding you back from starting? For many people, the reason that they don't begin is because they lack confidence. There's a lot of self-doubt that creeps up. We don't think we're good enough. We feel low in confidence. We don't feel that we have enough experience. What will he say? What will she say? What will happen if I put myself out there? Etc. Etc. All of these negative feelings that we have towards ourselves often come out and hinder our progress. So by asking yourself, why have I not yet started? Then maybe you can realize, well, it's because I am doubting myself. But why are you doubting yourself? What is it that you think is going to happen? Because the reality is what you think is probably not what's going to happen. We project into the future. We don't know the future. We have no idea what's going to happen in the future. And yet a lot of people make choices based on what they predict the future will be. Oh, I can't because I don't have, I, I'm not ready. I'm predicting that this is going to be the outcome, etc., etc. But you don't have a time machine. You have no clue what tomorrow will bring. You need to get to a point where you feel, okay, I ha this product or whatever it is that you're going to do has a certain amount of experience attached to it. 70, 80%. Great. Now get the ball rolling. The final tweaks, you can start as and when you go. Because we have to remember things change, things progress on a constant basis. Things never remain the same. So if you are waiting for the perfect moment, that perfect moment will never arrive because there is always a new set of inputs that will change your perfect moment to become something else. So by understanding where we are, by understanding what we are doing, by understanding how we feel, we'll be able to make choices that can actually get us to the place that we want to be. We can actually achieve something. But first we need to ask ourselves, what is it that I'm afraid of? What is it that's holding me back? What is it that is stopping me from starting? Because only then, when we've asked that question, can we take a step back, look at the big picture and go, you know what? This is just a sense of fear that I'm building up in my head. This is not reality. And what will happen you start the process and you get to where you want to be much quicker.